Hey everybody, it's Andy Timmons, and very, very happy to be doing my first ever column for Guitar World Magazine. And uh, this first column, we're going to get into where melody comes from, and how to better interject melody into your playing. Um, I think, in general, a lot of us guitar players, you know, we, we tend to learn our scales. And uh, we have patterns and licks. Which are all great. That's part of our that's part of our language. That's part of our vocabulary. But uh, over the years, I, I've really you know, my my style has kind of uh, it's utilized a lot of that, but also a lot of uh, horizontal playing to where that I'm not necessarily thinking about a, a pattern or position. I'm really thinking uh, you know in a in a very horizontal linear fashion that will allow me to play. Lines that are hopefully more vocal, more singing, um, more melodic. So I'm going to give you some. I'm going to give you some exercises to ways that I think I can really help open some doors for you. And it'll not only give you some horizontal ideas, but it'll blend together maybe some of the positions that you're most comfortable in. And we'll have you'll have just a lot more uh, you know territory to express yourself. So let's get started. So for this first example, we're just gonna we're gonna think globally in the key of A minor. Um, normally, when I would uh, have a student learn this particular idea, I would start with just the pentatonic, because that would be one of the most familiar... One of the most familiar sounds. So, the idea here, though, is to use one finger on one string. We're just going to give you the G string and your index finger. And so, we just want to find each note on that string, you know, horizontally up the neck. cheat a little bit if you want to use your other digit at that point but now, this is gonna help you in a lot of ways you're obviously you're gonna now start to visualize that same sound you've been hearing all these years here but uh, as I said earlier you're gonna be able to use that As a way of maybe blending together a different positions that you're more familiar in. Um, with that in mind, let me just get a little loop going here, and I'll I'll give a couple of melodic examples of utilizing literally just that that one finger and that one string. So I cheated a little bit. So eventually, once you get comfortable on that string with the pentatonic, now you might want to add the two other notes that would be of the scale if you're thinking A minor. You might want that B in there for the, for the second scale degree. The sixth scale degree for thinking natural minor would be F, so. And uh, the chord progression that we're actually going to use these things, and I like to I like to think of things as, you know, using using language in a sentence. If we have an idea, you know, we start to develop it. Well, we want to be able to speak it. We want to use it in a sentence. So the chord progression eventually, you'll see, is going to be an A minor to G major, F F major to E dominant. Very common, uh, lovely progression to play over. So let me do this um, looper one more time, just so it's like an, over an A ma A minor chord. And to hear what some of these notes sound like, um, let's, let's talk about that or play that. So that's utilizing all seven notes instead of just the pentatonic. 